Good morning, Stag Chargers. This is Mrs. Pinto. I'm at my local grocery store, and I wanted to give you just three tips on uh, shopping for yourself. So maybe you guys help out with the grocery shopping, or maybe you don't, but if you're like my teenager, you do go buy some snacks at the local store or 7-Eleven with your friends, and once you head off into your own life uh, in the next several years, you will definitely be shopping for your own food and you'll want to save money. So I'm gonna give you three quick tips that apply to you at any age. The first thing is generic. So at a store, you tend to have the name brands. These are the brands that are usually more expensive and they tend to advertise a lot but you usually have what's called generic. Every store usually has their own brand, but basically it's a brand that's very similar in quality and product, but the price is lower because they don't do things like advertise. So let's take a look. Let's say you're in the mood for mixed nuts and you've seen planters ads. You've seen a lot of them. So you go, ooh, mixed nuts, all right, $5.99. But let's take a look. Here's the generic best choice, exact same size, exact same product. It's more than a dollar cheaper. So unless you have some particular reason why you really need the famous brand, you can save a dollar just by doing that. All right, next tip. We are going to head over here and talk about sales. So I'm looking at some potato chips and I'm just in the mood for chips. I don't care what kind. And I see these are on sale. Okay, sales are good, but not all sales are equal. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the price. It says $1.99, you save $1.50. That's a huge savings. So this would be a really good sale. <clears throat> Let me take you over here though to another sale. The tag looks the same these chips, look at that, a sale. You only save 20 cents. So when you're looking for sales, make sure that you look at how much of a savings you get. One final thing. Let's say you know exactly what you want. You want some flaming hot Cheetos. If you're like my boys, <laughs> you eat a lot of these. So you go to take this bag, right? Flaming hot Cheetos. You check the price. Okay, $3.99. But depending on how many Cheetos you want, maybe getting a bigger bag would be a smarter thing. So take a look at this one, $3.99 for 8.5 ounces. Okay. So this bag has eight and a half ounces for $3.99. I took out my calculator and I divided 399 divided by 8.5 and that came out to 47 cents per ounce. Okay, fine, maybe that's a good deal. Let's take a look at a bigger bag. So over here, my store has their party sized. So here's same product, but it's a bigger bag. Sometimes they're called family size too. Here we go. $4.79. But how much do I get? Because it's more expensive, right? The other one was only $3.99. But let's see. 15 ounces. So I'm going to do my calculation. 4.79 divided by the ounces, which is 15. That's 32 cents an ounce. So look at the difference. I get the exact same product, but by buying the bigger bag, I saved and got 32 cents per ounce rather than 47 cents per ounce. Unless it's too much for me and I won't eat it, of course, this is a much better deal. Usually you save a lot more money if you buy a bigger bag or box or jar of a product. Now, that doesn't matter if you won't eat it and it's gonna to go to waste. But all things being equal, the bigger container is the better deal. 
and the smaller it is, the less good deal. I hope this helped you out for now and for the future. Have a good day, Chargers.